Hi friends, welcome to my composition art journal series, part 25. I am more than halfway through my composition art book. I'm excited, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving flipping through and seeing my finished work and kind of previewing which pages I want to do next. There are a few pages like this one that I was really looking forward to. It's a little different and has lots of crazy colors. Um, and then I found this awesome quote by Will Rogers, don't let yesterday take up too much of today. This quote resonated with me because I can sometimes dwell on things from the past and they kind of rob me of my joy in the present. And so um, this is something I want to remind myself of on a regular basis that um, while it's good to reflect and learn from our past, if there's something that we can't change and we can't do anything about, it's out of our control, we just have to let it go and move on and forgive and um, be free to move forward and enjoy life and embrace today because every day is a gift and we get another one every 24 hours. So this white pen I'm using is a Jelly Roll pen, number 10, uh, Sakura is the brand, and I just... Um, started using it and it seems to be working really well. Um, I have used Uniball Signo in the past white pens and I don't know if I am like ruining them by pushing too hard or something but it seems like they work great at first and then they kind of die out quickly and it does not doesn't seem like it's out of ink but it just um, it just doesn't stay smooth. Uh, maybe it's picking up too much paint from my pages or something I don't I don't know but so far I'm having success with these jelly roll um, pens and um, they write really smoothly and I'm being careful not to um, dig into my page too hard with them. And then of course Paca, Posca markers are um, always very reliable and then I have this set of metallic markers. It's acrylic ink um, or acrylic paint markers that are metallic that I got off Timu a few months ago. So I am just starting to doodle and I wanted to bring some brighter colors, so I was experimenting a little bit by using the actual paint from the background as um, some embellishment colors. But even then, over the black, it, it was just not having the effect that I wanted. I wanted more contrast and um, the colors to pop out. So silver always works well. I got a little paint on my hand, so I decided to just dab it on the page, add a little element. You know, I like it when that happens, when you just have a little oops and then you just make it part of the page. So silver always looks really well, really well? No, looks good. Sorry, that's bad grammar, improper grammar. <laughs> um, the silver and black always pops out really well. It pops out well, that's correct. Okay, <laughs> can you tell I'm a homeschool mom? I have to analyze my grammar on a regular basis. Love polka dots. Um, okay, I'm not gonna babble through every little step here. Um, I will just say that I, like to find a pattern and and then just distribute it on the page in a way that kind of balances. So when I say balance, if you imagine paperweights and it's a windy day, like where would you need to set things down to make the page not fly away? Like kind of distribute the weight of the elements over the page.
I know the question you've been dying to ask is, I wonder what delicious beverage Aaron is consuming while filming this video. Well, there it is. It's a Tazo Skinny Chai Latte with vanilla unsweetened almond milk and natural bliss sweet cream creamer. It's delicious. The perfect blend to fuel my creative energy.